Alright guys, so we have updated the PvE tier list for the new October 2024 update featuring Bernie Spice as well as Nutmeg Tiger. So in this video, we're going to be updating the PvP tier list with a bit of a shift inside of the arena meta with the new Bernie Spice. And some cookies are actually coming back. There's new combination and things like that. So let's get into the tier list. Of course, this is going to be based on my opinion as well as my experience. So if you have anything, leave it in the comments below. So starting off real quick, it's going to be the D tier. So uh, a couple cookies have been left uh, leaving the D tier now into the quote unquote like C, B. Uh, still not going to be good, but now we only have Sonic all the way up to Tiger Lily. Uh, so it, not too many of these cookies are going to be in the D tier. Still, anything really below like S tier, you really shouldn't be focusing on. Uh, C tier is going to be from Chili Pepper all the way up to Cherry Blossom. So we have moved chili pepper up to c tier because of the slight buff that we have gotten with uh the new update on the fire type cookies but you know it really didn't make a significant increase in any of the quote-unquote viability really inside of the current meta all right and the next one is going to be the b tier from kumio to profit and then pumpkin pie and almond here so the reason why we moved the kumio to b tier is going to be of course with the tailwind buff as well and I just got to say, probably a little better than the D tier now. And Tailwind with Wind Archer is actually slightly viable with Kumio if you guys really have to use her. But still, again, not going to be really, really good. Anything below really that S tier even. All right. So just keep that in mind. All these cookies, the ones that we're really looking out for in the future is going to be someone like Hansen with the Magic Candy. Everyone else really has either gotten Magic Candy and still not as good anymore or i mean we will see if uh, the epic only uh, arena mode is going to bring some of these cookies back as well next one is going to be the a tier here from pataya all the way down to snow sugar and then we also do have from mango down to bts so i have actually dropped bts from the s tier to the a tier um, probably fair enough to probably drop bts now with the increase of more supports and things like that people have been asking me hey hyrule what do you think about pataya as well as camp season after the little buff that they have gotten i'm gonna be honest with you guys i have tested both of them out i will make a specific video on them as well hopefully in the future uh but the reason why i'm not increasing their overall tier uh inside of the arena is because they just lack uh, survivability like even with the buff that burning spice is able to give pataya still just lacks damage as well as the uh you know the vulnerability that pataya has inside of the arena it's just really really bad uh in the current state you know like pataya needs to use two skills and then the third one turns into that dragon form you're not gonna have pataya survive until then it's like almost impossible uh with the current meta right now and capsaicin is like if you're gonna use capsaicin it's probably just better to use someone like dark cow someone like uh finn and seer it's just not worth to have somebody who just does slight a bit of damage but you know just not able to do anything after that like it does not provide anything for the team really all right so that's the reason why we're still keeping them in the a tier and then the rest of them pretty much the same here from the last tier list all right and then the s tier is going to be from crimson coral all the way down to strawberry crepe and then we also do have black lemonade down to cream puff so i've actually brought down hollowberry and elder fairy into the s tier now and even milky way and the reason why is because of the fact that we have new frontliners pretty much that are taking over the meta right now the only real good viable ones that you can use that I, in my opinion are going to just be kind of future proof as of right now of course meta does change pretty rapidly here but it's going to be awakened dark cacao with burning spice cookie and then the other ones are going to be someone like possibly and then someone like stormbringer and then from the epic side is going to be someone like you know finisir rebel as well as wildberry and then we have to include uh you know burn cheese as well but like besides them like it's really hard to be used inside of the arena currently just because of the insane amount of damage you take the bunch of debuffs uh, and without a way to either have a debuff immunity or really really just tanky in general or just specialize in something like uniquely and one thing like you know wildberry with the mega punch it's gonna be really hard uh, to actually be in the SS or even the meta side of things right now. All right, uh, that's the reason why I've dropped Hollowberry, who is a pretty darn good tank, but just 
takes up too much damage and dies off really, really quickly. Elder Fairy 2 uh, was really good when White Lily was meta and there was a lot of cookies who, you know, were able to be countered by Elder Fairy, but now with just insane amount of damage from like Wind Archer, Burning Spice, Darker Cow, and you know, all these uh, combinations, uh, Elder Fairy is just not really good anymore all right uh so that's the reason why i put them in the s tier and then now moving on to uh the real uh meta side of things okay so we're gonna keep the meta side first it's going to be no other than darker cow awaken we have mystic flower we have wind archer we actually have moonlight and stardust as well as black pearl financier rebel as well as cream ferret so uh we actually do have moonlight stardust as well as black pearl and even Rebel actually joining the meta side because of the fact that we now have counters for Burning Spice cookies, which I will make a video on as well, including these particular cookies. And they are really, really good in countering Burning Spice, especially if you don't have Burning Spice as well. Because, you know, you guys have seen the teams Burning Spice has and it's pretty darn insane. So using these cookies, especially someone like Stardust, someone like Moonlight, uh, Moonlight with the debuff resist, uh, the weakness debuff, um as well as you know just uh, the amount of damage she is able to rack up later on down the line if you guys do get up the plus 20 as well start us with the curse which is still a thing that counters someone like possibly win archer and also burning spice as well uh we have black pearl actually coming back too because of the sheer amount of damage you're able to do with the damage resist bypass buff from black pearl as well and a rebel is actually going to be one of the biggest ones uh that is going to make a pretty big comeback here uh into the arena because of the fact of the weakness debuff of the elements wind archer is just able to shred through everything and you're just going to do a ton of damage with rebel as well all right and then we have still finish here and cream fair cream fair is the best support probably right now that you can use uh and finish here still uh with someone like Darker Cow, with someone like Wind Archer, uh, you're still able to really, really use her in protecting them, giving the extra damage resist buff, and all of the other buffs that she does bring to the team. All right, so now moving on to the SS tier is gonna be Stormbringer. We have Golden Cheese, White Lily, Frost Queen, and then Pure Vanilla. And then we have Wildberry, Burnt Cheese, Parface, Snapdragon, you have uh, Icicle Yeti, Peach Blossom, as well as Star Coral. So, uh, these guys right over here, they're still usable. I think there's comps right now coming out with possibly Golden Cheese as well. And most likely she is going to, or probably 99.9% .9 sure, is going to be that she's going to be meta when she is awakened. Uh, White Lily and Frost Queen slightly, you know, they're getting out DPS now with other cookies because now they're really, really squishy while like Darker Cow and Burning Spice and even Wind Archer are just super tanky in general as well. Uh, Pure Vanilla is still a pretty darn good healer, just generally. Uh, Wildberry still have that one-shot comp as well that can still be viable. Most likely going to be falling off soon. Uh, we have Burnt Cheese, most likely going to come back as well when Golden Cheese is uh, going to be meta. And then we have the rest of the supports as well. Now, moving on to the two new cookies, which is going to be Burning Spice. Obviously, you guys probably already knew that Burning Spice is going to be meta absolutely broken even better once you guys actually start uh getting these really really good statted biscuits as well as something like uh really really good toppings uh you know focusing on that damage focusing on that uh, bit of extra attack speed crit cooldown all of those things and the damage was this bypass from that uh, biscuit inside of arena this guy is an absolute menace. He's a beast. Uh, he has invincibility. He just does a lot of damage in general. Has all those debuffs as well. So really, really beneficial. However, Nutmeg Tiger, I gotta say, is gonna be somewhere in like the S tier. Viable, but not really. And it's a, it's a very similar state of something like Twizzly, something like uh, you know Blueberry Pie, something like Black Lemonade. She can be used. She has two summon units. Uh, she has some healing that can be viable if you're able to attack. Uh, works and synergizes with Burning Spice. But the thing is that she just gets stunned. She just blows up most of the time. And that's the reason why she's going to be really, really hard to be used inside of the top arena as of right now. All right. So she is another support epic cookie that is going to be 
really really good for something like cookie alliance and you know pve side of things but not really for the arena burning spice obviously you probably already knew that he was going to be it but that is pretty much going to wrap it up for the october all right 2024 tier list here guys and if you guys have anything that you guys want to add uh you know let me know down in the comments below uh so that i can read it and possibly you know give my input on it next time as well but thanks for watching if you guys haven't checked out the pve tier list as well as the reviews that i've done for this update then please check it out in the screen in front of you thanks for watching